What is up guys? Welcome to another Group Iron Land video. In the beginning of this one, I am still farming my Crystal Shard for corrupting my bow Faradinan, but I'm very close. I only need 400 more and Max Nick actually just got access to Priftinas, so we're going to do Corrupted Gauntlet at the same time and then after that we're going to open the chest at the same time and in the chat you will be able to see what he got and what I got and hopefully we can get lucky. Okay, so you're outside? Yep. I, I, hold on, oh, nice Addy Scimitar, dude, from the last fail. <laughs> yeah, the Addy Scimitar. Uh, we, we don't talk about the Addy Scimitar. Yeah. You ready? Right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, I thought I got something because I thought I read the. Uh, oh, no, yeah. yeah, we got yeah. nothing. Let me get my. Uh, order up. All right, here we go. This was my fifth KC. <sighs> got the here we go. Completed. Oh, I man, believe. Boy. You ready? Three, two, one. Nothing again, dude. Welcome to my prison. <laughs> Last one now, okay. Let's see All what right. we get. Wanna count down? Oh, oh. No, oh. To... YOLO. Ah, oh, we got nothing. Unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, that is a weapon seed, which is actually not terrible. I mean, I can convert this to 10 crystal shards, which is uh, like one and a half crop the gauntlet run. You go and talk to Amrod in the bar and you click this one, 10 shards, there you go. There's not really any other use for this except maybe turning it into acorns but uh, then I have to wait for the trees to grow so. After I turned in that crystal weapon seed I kind of thought of another idea of getting crystal shards uh, and that is killing these Iowarth warriors. They have a 1 in 1000 drop rate of the enhanced crystal teleport seed. And you can actually turn that in for 150 crystal shards. So if I would get lucky and get like two of them, I would basically be done with all the shards that I need. And also it is combat training. So let's see if we can get lucky. Also on top of that, they do drop normal crystal shards. I think one in 24 or 25. So I should expect to get a decent amount of them. We actually need quite a lot of items from Hard Clue Scrolls still for the team, so I actually completed the Hard Clue I had in the bank, and these can drop Hard Clues, one in 128, and hopefully I will get a couple to do during this grind, and then we're going to actually open a few of them together as a team at the same time, and the main items we are going to be looking for are God Dehyde items for Nex, because we don't really have many of them, and ranged is the best use at Nex. I will put two graphs graphics I've made basically uh, yesterday on the screen right now of the uh, optimal setup we could have which is kind of unrealistic and then the second one on the right side will be a lower tier one which you can see includes the god dehyde so that is kind of what we're looking for and there we go that is the first hard clue scroll i think everyone else is going to try to have 10 of them but i only have one in the bank and this is going to be the second one if i can complete this so it's going to be pretty hard to reach uh, 10 with a drop rate of 1 in 128, but uh, maybe, we'll see. I actually did have to complete the Fairy Tales Part 2 quest for this uh, hard clue scroll, but with that done, if I now talk to her, she get the next clue, and if I talk to her again, I should actually complete the quest, which is nice. I mean, uh, I wasn't really planning on doing it, but having it done for future hard clue scroll steps is nice regardless. That is some herb door and thieving experience, and the lamp can be used on anything, so that's going to go to 2,500 herb door experience. Nice. Oh my god, look at that beam. I actually got one of the seeds. Uh, it took some time. I was not unlucky. Let's have a look at the side here. 901 kills. That took a very long time, but it is now... That is the wrong frame. Uh, I'm going to turn this in for 150 crystal shards. And uh, here we go. Talk to Amrod and choose the enhanced crystal teleport seed. 150 crystal shards. That is a lot of shards. And I'm going back to try to get another one. Of course, I would have to be very lucky to get two, but uh, you never know with RNG. I managed to get 9 hard clue scrolls so far and my team wants to do the opening now. I think everyone else has 10, but uh, I'm fine with 9. I'm not going to spend like an hour more to get the last one. So uh, let's see what we get. Are we ready, boys? Okay. Ooh. I'm ready. Oh, Alright, three, two, one. Come on, clan spam. Go. Okay, I got the chat spam. Oh, oh, so I, many I items. <laughs> oh, I got a fury or no, I got a berserker necklace. Already. What is all these items? <laughs> Bad <Holy> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got two traps for sure, so we have to, we have enough traps. Okay, uh, Damn. if you filter it, I we, we got you can five see traps. the items. I got oh my god! Well, or, <laughs> we have two five traps for sure now. I got two traps. Okay, oh, I got so, 
We actually this got five chaps in like, there as well. We got five chaps in general, like just in this opening. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh my Dude, like... god. So unfortunately, as you saw, we basically only got chaps. Bodies was kind of what we needed because we already had all the chaps. So that is unfortunate, but it was fun to do the opening. I've been here for like 45 more minutes and we decided to do some Samurak because we want to try to get a Samurakian spear for anyone in the team that wants to kill some rune dragons with Dragon Slayer 2 completed for the 1 in 800 drop rate of the dragon limbs, which would give us access to the dragon crossbow. If we cannot get the armadillo crossbow from Siliana, you, you never know with the RNG, you know? So we're going to go and do some Sammy. Oh, we have that one already, unfortunately. Wait, is that a oh, dupe? No. Yeah. Uh, do we need you know, that like, one or is that a dupe? Dupe, I think. I <laughs> guess I, I think that's a dupe, right? Yeah, it's a dupe. Uh, unfortunate. Okay. It's the spear, right? Oh! oh. <laughs> Almost called it, dude. Like, imagine if wow. that was actually the spear. Wow. I was so close to calling that. The, I was like, that's the spear. The oh. Steam Battle Staff literally just looks like an air staff. That is cringe. <laughs> yeah. I that see is... it, put it on. Dude, it's so cringe. Look at this. <laughs> Bro, it... oh my god, they haven't even like done anything. To no, it. it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh. it's kind of like cyan color, I guess. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, it does have some uses, though. There are certain uh, areas where you actually in the Lunar Spellbook where you want both. It's yeah, always sure. it's always the Lunar Spellbook with these weird staves. Yeah, you, you oh, oh my oh, god, they're the one. same. Oh no. That's even from Krill, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was me, bro. Oh, we yes. need that. We need that. Yeah, we need yeah, that. One Actually, a useful I'll... one. Nice. Yo, let's go. One more. We just need God, God Sword Shard 1 for yep. the next uh, hill. I had to leave a bit earlier, but actually after that trip, the rest of the team went for another one and got the last God Sword Shard, so we can now actually make the third BGS for the team, which is the last hilt we have in the bank. Now that is done. I had 80 smithing, so just uh, finished that, so time to put it in the storage. But now it is time to do some Corrupt the Gauntlet to finish off like the last 90 shards that I need to Corrupt the Bow. Oh, another armor seed. That is very nice. Uh, I'm going to keep this and give it to Nick because he is grinding out the crystal armor right now. So that is excellent. I think that's it. 1,812 shards and I have some charged in my bow as well. So let's see if we can corrupt the bow. It has been a very long grind and I'm excited to be done with it and actually use the bow for a bit. We have a Dwarven Stout matured for 2 smithing boost as I'm 80 and we have the Mushroom Pie for the 4 crafting boost. Let's uh, drink and eat both of them, and now sing, and I can make the Corrupted Bow. Yes, I have all the shards. Let's do it, and that is now the Corrupted Bow of Feradinen completed. If you don't know what that does, it basically makes it infinite. I don't have to charge it anymore with Crystal Shards, so it is not uh, a ways to use it anywhere, basically. I can use it without really losing any shards, and uh, for the crystal armor as well, that is still degradable, but it is only degraded if you take a hit. So if I'm doing some PvM activity where you take no damage, like Slayer, and I'm just protecting, the crystal armor is literally infinite, so... This makes the bow infinite as well, which is excellent, and I might recolor it. There's a couple of different ones, you can pay 500k, I will look into that. So these are the different colors, you can have white, black, purple, green, golden, white kinda, red and blue. I'm not sure which one I wanna get. Uh, it's 500k for each one, I think I'll go with the blue one, I kinda like it because it fits with the crystal armor. So now I just use it on the bow and yes, it is going to be recolored blue now, so let's see. Yep, that fits pretty nicely. You can change it whenever you want to for just 500k, so I am not too worried about that. Now that I have the bow corrupted, there is a couple of PVM things I want to try out and see how good it is. The first one is camping the bow on Solra, which means I am not bringing any switches. I'm just going to be camping the bow with the accuracy that I have right now. The gear that I have is pretty good still on Solra. It's like the twisted bow strategy, but... Uh, Let's see if it's good. I'm not sure. I've never really done this before, so uh, let's see what time we get. I'm going to do a couple of kills with this setup and then maybe try to bring the switch setup and see how that goes. That was definitely not a fast kill, but very convenient. No switches or anything. 329. Might have been unlucky though, so let's try another time. Alright, 3 minutes this time, so a bit better, like 20 seconds better, but still not nearly as good as I can get with the mage and the range setup, and even now with this, instead of having the rune crossbow, if I have the mage switch, it should be incredibly fast, 
So let's see the speeds we can get with the switch now. Now let's see the difference with absolute full sweat, the full magic setup with the arms that we just achieved by Doug's luck at Barrows, the full switch as well as the book that allows me to spawn thralls. This should be interesting. And the kill time is for the first attempt. 2 minutes and 10 seconds, already my personal best. Oh, this is a fast one. Oh my god, I was hitting good all the time. 138. Yeah, that is the potential of having all this mage gear with the Boa Feradinen, with an imbued heart as well. Very stacked. That's like main account speed, 138. But even though, of course, that hype kill of 138, speedrunning using everything is very nice to see, it is still not that bad to camp the Boa Ferradinen. I mean, it's very chill and I could get like 3 mini kills maybe. And there's no switches, so I also get like 5 more inventory slots or 6 even. Don't have to bring the imbued heart, so maybe even 7. So I will have a lot more food so I can do more kills per trip as well. So it is something to consider to maybe go with a full setup now and then. Now a place where I can use the entire crystal armor, I don't have to use the serpentine helmet, is God Wars Dungeon, and I'm going to do this off task. We're going three people to Krill, and it's going to be very interesting to see if this setup will be able to out damage the Arc Light, which is a massive DPS on this boss. It's going to be interesting to see the DPS. Unfortunately, I cannot be in voice. My headset has broken. I should get one tomorrow, a new one. But for this one, there is going to be only my voice. So in the background right now, you can see an entire kill that we did. And Dovidas, which is the tank right now, was actually on a Slayer task as well. So he had a Slayer helmet and the Arc Light. And this specific kill, I did manage to out damage him. I think around 40%, maybe even 50% of the times I got the kill. So it's definitely not bad. But uh, I would say that this boss as a trio is a bit of a it's a bit of a problem because sometimes the boss aggro's me and my defenses are terrible. I was getting Getting hit a lot as well as my teammates as well. So we are actually going to try to do Bandos instead. Now the Bow Faradinen on Bandos is actually one of the best, if not the absolute best weapon to use on the boss. The stats on it is just perfect for it and uh, we are going to actually be in voice this time. Got to borrow a headset from my, uh, from my girlfriend. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we get or if we get something. Wrecked with main hand BGS. Oh, oh, are you God. kidding me? No way, another duplicate boots. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Are you oh kidding me? No. Dude, no. stop. No. Stop. How do we only get... <laughs> it's the hilt all over again, but now it's with Bando's Bro. boots. Bro. My so God. Three hilts and three boots. That's yep. all. Dude. Yep. This is a scam game, man. Oh my god. Dude, nice. <laughs> so many of these, man. How many have we got? One, two, uh, three in one trip. And they're all the ones we already have. So unfortunately nothing too great from that Bandos trip, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how many kills I got in that trip. We were four people, so the kills were split amongst four people. And, um, well, we did about 60 kills and my kill count was 41. So I got 41 of the kills in a 4-man and uh, 19 of the kills went to the other people. So the Boa Faradinen at Bandos is an S-tier weapon. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some Slayer in hopes of getting a Dagonoth task because I do want to try the bow, bow out on some solo DKs as well. And I would love to get an Archer's Ring. Now that is interesting, that's the first boss task I've had, and Giant Mole is actually a boss where the Boa Faradinen is really good. So I'm actually going to go for the max amount, it's going to be kind of interesting, and also the Mole Claws and Mole Skin that it drops actually can turn into the uh, Bird Nests, which is actually used to make Saradomin Brew, so it's pretty good drops. Oh my god, 25 seconds, I actually got a kill there before it even dug down, which is very nice because I don't have the Falador Hard Diary done, so I actually have to track it down every time. But uh, this is uh, very good here, I have to say. The kills are like 41 seconds, 1 minute, 11. Kind of depends on the hits and how many times it digs down. Definitely going to do all the future mole tasks, but looking at my inventory, I can trade in all these mole skins and claws for nests. And you get these crates 
and they have different tags. You can see this one has rings and you can only open them at a bank. I got two ones with rings and 97 with seeds and 10 of the empty ones. So definitely a lot more seeds. This is going to stack up very quickly if I would camp the boss because this took me like 30 minutes maybe to finish. So uh, quite a lot of Saradom and Bruce right there in seeds. No Dagonoth task yet, but uh, this is going to be a Slayer level, 73 Slayer. If I get two more levels, I can do Gargoyles, and I would love to try the Bow Ferdinand on the uh, Grotesque Guardians, which is the Gargoyle boss, so whenever I get that 75, I will try it. Oh, I did not expect that, 88 hit points, and that is actually 1750 total as well. Pretty nice milestone. Now, I really wanted a Dagonoth task, but uh, I've been doing quite a bit of tasks and I haven't got one. I have 60 points right now and I'm going to try to get one and uh, hopefully we will get lucky. First one is Greater Demons, would be nice for Sammy, but uh, I do want to get a Dagonoth task now. So first skip, get Trolls, that is not the one. And let's do a last skip, last chance to get it. And we get Fossil Island Wyvern, so not lucky this time, and I think this is where I'm going to end the video. In the next one, I'm going to try to do Diagonal Kings in the beginning. So basically all the content I will do now for the next week roughly will be about next preparations and increasing my setup for next and the team setup in general. So I will try to get Archer's Rings, I will try to get the God Dehyde Bodies from Clue Scrolls, overall things that you will see in the future videos, but uh, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. So if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see future content, and uh, have a good one.